Hi, my name is Lauren and I'm with iCraft Vinyl putting together this video to help you get started using HDV, which is also known as heat transfer vinyl. Um, today we're going to be personalizing this bandana bib. It's a Basically, I just want to encourage you guys just to open up your machine, get started, and just really start to learn and have fun with this. I know when I was new, when I was first starting, it took me six months to unbox my Cameo. I was nervous. I had no idea where to start. So my goal today is to answer some of those questions and get you started on your way. So I want to go over some of the tools that I use. Um, starting off, I use a weeding pick. This one actually came with my machine. This one I purchased actually at Harbor Freight. Tweezers sometimes can come in handy. Scissors to cut your vinyl if needed. A measuring tape. And your material that you're going to customize or put the vinyl on. This is the vinyl I'm going to be using today. This is iCrafts Liquid Metallic. It's one of my favorite materials to work with. It's very easy and it's very beautiful when applied. You need a cutting mat to put your vinyl on, your computer, and I have my Silhouette Cameo 3 over here. All right, let's get started. So I'm just adding a name to this bandana. Now it's a cursive font. So whenever you have a cursive font and the letters overlap, you always need to weld them together. Doing this will allow your machine to cut the words all together, just like you would write them, so there would be no overlap in the, in, um, the letters. So to weld, you simply right click and go down and hit weld. Now, I don't know if you could see that, but now it's one word. Not separate letters, but one word together. So an important thing to remember when you are cutting for heat transfer vinyl is to mirror your image. That's also known as flip horizontal. Again, right click, hit flip horizontal, and your image will become mirrored. All right, we're getting ready to send it. So my machine is already on. I'm gonna take my protective covering off of my mat, and I'm going to put my vinyl on my mat. When we do this, we put it face down. The good side faces your mat. Okay, so you're cutting the back. All right, so I have that all lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into my machine. Okay, so when I cut this, I always cut it on my heat transfer smooth setting. So that's already a pre-made setting in the Silhouette um, software here. And heat transfer smooth, I use my auto blade that came with the machine. I have it loaded, it's mirrored. I put my vinyl face down and I think we're good to send. When you go to send it in the software, it'll say heat transfer designs often need to be mirrored and it'll ask you if you want to mirror it. We do not want to mirror it. We already mirrored it. If you hit send mirrored, it will flip your image to this side of the mat, which our vinyl actually isn't even on that side of the mat because the vinyl I'm using is 10 inches wide. So I already did that step. I know that it's done. I appreciate the reminder because you can waste a lot of vinyl if you do not mirror it, but you already did it, so do not do that again. Simply hit send as is. So I'm gonna go ahead and send my material to my machine to cut. Okay, our material is done cutting, so you just hit unload. I'm gonna take this off. Cover this back up, keep any dirt from getting on it. Helps keep your mats a little bit longer. All right, so if you can see here, you can see how it has cut. So what I do now is I use my scissors and I just kind of cut that area out. Okay. 
So what I love about the liquid metallic is it is so easy to weed. So what weeding is, is it's removing the excess from your vinyl that you cut. So you're left with just the image or the word that you want to apply. So I just use my tool and look, you can see it literally pulls right up. It's so easy. It is so, so wonderful to weed. This is my favorite material to work with because of that. Okay, now we have to go back and remove the insides of the circles. And we were left with our transfer. So you can see here, now the gold side is, you know, it's facing how you wanted. That's because we mirrored it. That's exactly what we wanted. And I'm going to use an iron to apply this. However, you can use a heat press as well. So I'm gonna go get my iron and we will go ahead and apply that. Okay. We are now ready to use our iron to apply the vinyl. You get it situated how you want it. Gonna line it up here. Okay, so for something like this, I'm putting it on the corner and I'm putting diagonal, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it. If you were applying it to a shirt, I would recommend you folding your shirt in half. And you can use your iron to gently press a light seam in there, and that'll help you find the middle. But for this, again, I'm just going to, to eyeball it. Before I press it, I wanna explain that this clear sheet that the vinyl's attached to is called a carrier sheet. When you're using your carrier sheet, you do not need to cover your vinyl. It would be fine to just use your iron. So the key to applying vinyl with your iron at home is pressure. You need a lot of pressure. When I was doing this before I got my heat press and I was using um, my iron all the time, I'd actually take it up to my bathroom where I have a ceramic floor and I would press with all of my weight onto my shirts that I was making. Um, if I would have continued to do that, I probably would have purchased a ceramic tile on like at Lowe's or Home Depot or something, so I didn't have to go up to my bathroom, but I was just making these for me and my kids and then I'd throw them in the wash so it was good enough. Um, so let's go ahead and use this. So you want to use your highest setting for your home iron. No steam. You don't want to have any water in your iron when you're doing that. And you just want to press, press, press. Now, my detail is not very large, so I can actually, like my iron covers the entire thing, which is nice. And you can see I'm just pressing, pressing, pressing. get all the edges, make sure that all the little edges are pressed down. And you want to do it for about 20 to 30 seconds. If you think it's good, I'm going to give it a few more seconds here. Press, press, press. So looking at it up close, it looks like it's pressed pretty well. Um, for the liquid metallic, you want to peel it when it's cold or cool peel. Uh, what I typically do when I don't want to wait is I use a stainless steel tumbler that I have in my stash that I you know, hope to put a decal on someday, but I just have an extra one when it's laying around and I'll just rub it on top and it kind of just pulls the heat, the metal pulls the heat and cools the vinyl. So it still feels a little bit warm. 
should be pretty good now. So I'm going to slowly peel that off, see if there's any edges that need repressed. Okay, so there you go. You can see that we applied that. You can see how pretty it is. Now, I have some edges that I'm not overly happy with. Um, I just feel like they need a little bit more pressure, so just I just don't want it to peel or anything like that. So now that I've removed that carrier, I do need to protect the vinyl somehow because it will lift off into your iron. So I have two options. I can use parchment paper or I can use a Teflon sheet. Now, if you're just starting off, you probably don't have a Teflon sheet laying around, but you might have parchment paper. I'm telling you from experience, do not use wax paper. <laughs> you will ruin your project. The wax paper melts. So make sure that you are using parchment paper. So you're gonna cover your entire design and we're just gonna press it again. Again, the key is pressure, pressure, pressure when you are using your home iron. I've heard so many people say that they their vinyl peeled after the first time, and I can guarantee it is because they did not use enough pressure. see is that the liquid metallic actually melts into the fabric. That's how you know it's applied correctly. You can see the shirt fibers and you can see that it has, it almost became one with the fabric. This isn't going anywhere. It's not going to peel off. You can't really, when you run your fingers over it, you actually can't even feel that it's on there. It's not thick. It's nice and smooth and it's right on there. So you shouldn't have any problem with that peel. Again, how you know that the vinyl is applied properly is that you will be able to see the fibers of the fabric coming through the vinyl. Again, this is iCraft Vinyls Liquid Gold, it's the liquid metallic gold, and it's just really a pretty and easy vinyl to work with, especially for your first project.